guys bodysuit discussion big bag of stuff that I just dumped I don't even remember what I all got here um, oh man so I did a poll on Twitter and then went on OnlyFans and I thought maybe people weren't going to be into bodysuits as much bodysuits as much thinking they're a bit awkward um, but I think it came in about 80% of the people thought they were hot they like to see them so I'm going to do a video. I think that they are fun. They certainly take a lot of uh, good photos. Uh, they're pretty good to work out. Some of them are difficult. Some of them have some flaws. I'll, I'll attempt to discuss some of that. So I, here's what I'm trying to describe. I have this strappy thing and it kind of goes through your shoulders and then kind of here for, for a ring. This might be more of a singlet than a bodysuit, right? It's, it's across your top and bottom area, but it's not really covering anything. Maybe someone else can explain the best definition between a bodysuit and a singlet. So this is more exotic. What I would say is the traditional bodysuit that I'm referring to is like this one from Rough Skin here. And hopefully you can see, I got so much here. So this one, these ones are great. As far as like the perfect bodysuit that um, I recommend, it's the 2021 Rough Skins. They're uh, nylon and spandex, mostly nylon. They have these great shoulder straps that um, go into the middle of your back, close to, closer to your neck. Um, so they stay on. Some of these bodysuits, they fall off your shoulders and that can be annoying. And it's also, it's also a thong back. And I'm opinionated about it, opinionated about it, but um, if you're going to do, to do a men's bodysuit, I think you, you got to do thong. I just think it's, it looks better. I, I think it just more, I don't know, it, to me it looks better, it's more comfortable. Um, I don't know. The, the brief look to me is not ideal. So these rough skin ones are great. I'm having a bit of an issue that um, these the shoulder straps are yellowing a little bit, so I'm just going to figure out how to do that, clean that up. And on the sides, I work out in these and I've washed them and all that stuff, but they're starting to yellow a little bit. So that's not perfect. And I got this white one as well. That you've actually, some of you on OnlyFans have seen this. Maybe you saw it on Instagram, but I got this white version as well. Also got a yellowing issue. You gotta be real careful what you wash this with. But as, as far as like the pinnacle of, of bodysuits go, Rough skin this year are the top of my list. They've had some in past years that have fit weird. It's about these these shoulder straps again. They kind of more of your center of your back rather than on the outer points of your shoulders. Hard to describe. If you look at the photos, these stay on perfect. So let's keep going. This one is an Amazon China based, very synthetic men's. All oh, this is men's bodysuit and vibrant color blue white trim on it in the chest area but it has the brief back and you can certainly scrunch in the brief to make it more thong like and sometimes it works with some of them but I just prefer if it was intense these are okay they, they fit okay they're a bit dull to me but you can get these on Amazon Fairly cheap. It's a good way to experiment to see if you like the style. A brave person one. If they did this one in a real thong for men, that would be ideal. And what else we got? So Dorance. I never know if I'm saying that right. Dorance. D-O-R-E-A-N-S-E. -E. They've been doing these for many years, and years ago these were really hard to find. And this is the brand that you could rely on to get some. So I have one in black and white. And it's just very soft, um, maybe a mix of cotton. It has these bottom straps, which is okay. It, uh, I don't like the extra flare of the fabric sometimes, but you have that option. I find that it's not that big of a deal um, for the most part. Um, the issue I have with these Durant's ones is that they're very high cut on the sides. And I'll say that for the majority of the bodysuits I'll talk about, they all have this high cut on the sides issue. And that what that means is they when you're not wearing this with any other clothes, it looks fine. 
but when you have jeans on or shorts, you have this big side patch that's going to stick out. So if you're wearing this with jeans, it's going to stick out. I got this very mesh one. Where did I get this one from? Body Aware. So this one has some hot photos to it. It's uh, very soft. It's thick mesh, large hole mesh. I don't know, it's like a, to me it reminds me of like a Caribbean style larger mesh. Um, it's a, it has a full brief design in the back though. It fits pretty good, pretty good. I wish it was thong. Um, no snaps on the bottom of this. Okay. Rec pretty much recommend that one. And then you've seen this one recently, and I'd call this more of a singlet than a bodysuit. So it has, uh, this is Andrew Christian uh, thong bottom, Wyback thong, and you put the top part of it over your shoulders, and again, it's the large mesh. This one's pretty hot. Rec pretty much recommend that one. And then you've seen this one recently, and I'd call this more of a singlet than a bodysuit. So it has, uh, this is Andrew Christian uh, thong bottom, Wyback thong, and you put the top part of it over your shoulders. And again, it's the large mesh. This one's pretty hot, pretty vibrant labeling, gold, metallic. A lot of fun. Here is, okay, so along with the Dorance brand, this is another brand that years ago you could rely on for the bodysuits. This is a Olaf Benz that I actually bought in Europe. And uh, it's synthetic, it's stretchy, it's fun. It has the snap bottom as well. Not a huge fan, but it's okay. So you got one of those. You got that in Paris. Uh, the thing about the snap bottoms the thing about the bodysuits is that you have to be careful with your sizing and what I would recommend is that if you buy underwear in a medium you go for a large in a bodysuit if your um, t-shirt size is a large so that's kind of the best guidance so I have to wear like a t large and a t-shirt and shorts but um, often mediums and underwear and the bodysuit and if you're taller I'll add in that variable as well if you don't get it right the bodysuit's going to be uncomfortable to, to wear it's going to pull in between your legs and you're not going to want it very long it's either going to hurt on your shoulders or you pull in the middle this red and black one again with a lot of mesh smaller hole mesh snaps in the bottom it's uh it's fun this is from uh go software i believe american jock this is another Dorance one. I don't think I've done any photos with this one, but this is a brief back, snaps on the bottom, and it has buttons down the middle. This kind of has a hot look. And then the JJ Malibu ones, those are current. You can get those in 2021. They got different colors. These people really respond to these pictures. I got one in black and one in blue. I perhaps like the blue one better because it photos pretty good this one has a unique back as well in that uh, it's it kind of has a wide back it's gonna have an open back you're gonna probably have some challenges keeping it on because this one slides off the shoulders pretty easily very soft it's kind of fun to slide these to the side as well so I do recommend these Oh man, so this is a body aware one. It's a kind of shiny blue, thong back, shoulders. They have some pretty good ones too. Thin strap sides. So I, I recommend you know, this, this shiny blue color may not be for everyone, but try them, them out. This one is pretty exotic brand that um, I think they went out of business, but this is a, what was this one called? 
Body Art. I think it was a brand out of Europe. Yeah, Body Art is a men's brand that they had some cool designs. And this one I've done in a few photos. It's pretty hot. It's a uh, it's kind of see-through, but I think it's more in the design of like a tattoo. Like you wear this and like you have this body tattoo on. I think that's what it was intended. Anyways, it's I like how it fits. Thong back, no snaps, good length. Yeah, this one's hot. You guys should ask me to see more if you like the style. I got another, so I'm just jumping around here. Like the royal blue one. I got a red one from Amazon. This is like a China brown. Got some flare on the sides. This has a bit softer material. Feels more cotton oriented. Not sure it is, but it does. And this is a, I can't even, I don't even know how to read that name, but W-O something. I think these brands change a lot. So Suplex and the modal, and the modal makes it soft feeling. These are okay, they're not that expensive. If, you, if you're seeing these for more than $25, I would not get them. This is the, you've seen a few photos of this one, the traditional Borat sling. This is more for fun. I mean, it's my Halloween costume this year. Is, I won't do it. So it's a, it's the traditional sling, it's just, this is not practical for where if you exercise in it, it's going to fall off. You're going to fall out of it. It's more like a fun thing. This is my Dorant's white one, like I showed you, of the black one. I don't think I've worn this one too much lately. Medium, cotton, modal, and lycra. It's a pretty good blend for several years ago when I got this. Snaps on the bottom. Soft. I do recommend this brand. It's for, for the bodysuits. I'm not a fan of the other stuff they have. Got another China one. This is more of a sheer. You know, another same brand as that red one. Hard to pronounce. This one's okay. It's it looks better on than what you're probably seeing here. Brief back. Fits pretty good. Has like a like leather styled. Um, what do you call it cuff cuffing of the of the or trim of the bodysuit. It's not leather, but it has that that feel. It's leather. Another wild one from uh, Amazon. This one's fraying a little bit. A pink one. What are you gonna do? It, it is men's. Not that it matters too much, but uh, it's okay looking. It's, it has a very tall middle strap so sometimes with the body suits the way they hit um you know i'm you know I, I try to exercise and do the best i can but you know just be real i mean you can't always be perfect and sometimes the body suits can hit you just right and, and can accentuate uh areas that you probably don't want to highlight so you got to think about that a little bit This is a Dorance one, just like the white and black, but it's a leopard, cheetah, animal print one. It's okay. Let's keep going. The, this is a singlet. This is Joe Snyder. These are widely available. It's just kind of string shoulder straps with a pouch. Goes across your chest. These are always a bit complicated. In regards to where the side straps can go, is it like a jock or is it like side position in the back of it can be unique. These are okay if you want this style. Try one out. Oh, this is my Joe Steiner blue one. So, sorry, JJ Malibu blue one. I really like this. You guys are probably sick of the photos. I just think, so. I think it takes really good photos. Good design. Uh, body aware gray one. Check out the body aware ones. This has a standard thong back with no snaps, which is good. Hopefully you can see. This one's a bit better to wear with jeans because uh, it it's thong, but it won't go up as high. Um, body aware underwear for man. 
95% polyester, 5% spandex, large. These are okay. Oh yeah, this is a wild one. This is like a, it is men's. Another China based one. This is like a sling top. No, it's not a sling. It has like a top section to it. And then thong. Cut out. It actually looks pretty cool. Some people will not be into it. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on. Is it women's? Is it men's? It is men's. Um, I don't care. It's an interesting look. Kind of cool for photos. Another gray one of the China based. This one's okay. It's, it's a brief back. Um, yeah, this is right. Try it out if, again if it's less than $25. If you're into the style, try it out. Body aware. This is one of the older ones I've had. This is, a, this is one where it didn't quite work out on the size. It's okay to wear for a little bit, but it'll get uncomfortable pretty quickly. It pulls on the shoulders, it pulls in the middle, and I'm like I'm missing a piece to it. But anyways, it's kind of like a, a tank top design with some straps in the back. And then it's kind of like a, a ringed, ringed approach here. You put your jump through there, and then it had, um, it had snaps. It has a pouch that goes over this. That's around somewhere, but you can cover it or you can snap it off, and it's just, you have a ring. Um, the, the middle strap is very small, pretty hot photos, not quite comfortable for me. I think I probably should have gone up on size on this one. What else do I got? I got another body wear striped, striped one, soft straps, or buttons rather in the middle. This one's okay with jeans. I actually got a medium on this one, rayon and spandex, stretches and soft, so. What else? Okay, so you think you've seen, if you've been on my OnlyFans for a while, you've seen this this one. It's kind of like a jock. So I'm just going to call it a singlet again. The open, like tank top shoulders, bulge pouch, and then a jock back. It's, uh, again, an Amazon one. Mao Jiang TQ. This is also one that, uh, I, I kind of like this one. It's a flat black front with the little logo. It is a large. This is pretty tight though. And it's a jock back. It's pretty open back design with the jock. Hopefully you can see this okay. Pretty good. What do I got here? What do I got? Oh, these are JJ Malibu shorts. Fire. Oh yeah, here's the pouch for the one I just showed you. Snap that on. A little bulge pouch. What do I got? Oh yeah, this is another Amazon design. It's kind of a bulge pouch, black, strappy back, kind of crisscross with a Y thong. Kind of unique. Interesting photos. So we got, oh yeah, Candyman, large old mesh, thong back. Hard to straighten out here. It's the thing with some of these, it's a big puzzle. So it's like a deep V front. There's photos on OnlyFans about this one. I think this one's kind of fun. I think people kind of hate the sheer stuff or the mesh at times. Some of you do. Um, others really like it though. So I try to balance that out. To me, it's all just clothes. That's, I think this one's actually fun. I like these adjustable uh, sides on this one. Makes it uh, fit a bit better. They did this well. What else do I got? Oh yeah, so this is a this is a brief back rough skin. It's supposed to be a swimsuit. It's kind of funny. This is why I backed off from buying rough skin a little bit. This is a large and it still feels really big, way big. And it has like this rough skin side panel. I just if this thing was they do this front padding too. Like they want to give you extra fabric to cover up your junk area, but sometimes to me it's like, oh, that's not necessarily, just you're kind of highlighting this in like too much of a big way. I don't think they need to do that. I still see it a little bit in what they're doing. It's kind of funny on this one, they have, a, they built in a, like a key 
key holder. <laughs> you imagine going to the pool, beach, whatever, you got this in, and I'm going to put my keys there. I guarantee that your keys are you put in there, it's gone. <laughs> you get in the holder. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of funny. So this one maybe looks a little bit better with shorts and jeans because it has the brief back, it has lower cut on the sides. But I wasn't really impressed with this one. I wanted a thong and this one was too big. Oh, what else we got? Oh, I got this, again, this black Amazon one. I like the red one I had earlier. It's, it's okay. It's very stretchy. Bulge looks pretty good. Tall tee back to it. I got two secret mail ones. Not a brand for everyone, but some people like it. I'm kind of willing to try most brands for the sake of content. And it's just red and black. It's, these ones actually fit good and are very comfortable. They're specifically space available for your parts. Long pause. I mean, so they're designed for men, and so it's actually comfortable. The back uh, fits pretty good. It is kind of laced back at the shoulders. Not for everyone. Um, if you want to see more of this style, then do let me know. I'm, I'm kind of hold back on it a little bit because prior feedback, it's, it's kind of mixed. Some people like it, some people don't, some don't care. So those are the bodysuits, and my opinion, let's see if there's anything else that we're, that we're showing. You know, there, there's uh, some vendors, I had this in my recent videos, this Andrew Christian. Well, I'm doing matching, matching uh, designs, top and bottom. You know, this maybe looks too much like a sports bra. Maybe. Well, it does. Um, not, so that's okay. I don't, I don't particularly care. I wish it was a bit longer and kind of was around your stomach. Brands should definitely do more matching top and bottoms. I, it doesn't have to be in this particular style. I think you can do it more of a tank top or a t-shirt. But I want to see... The, the bottom part, the thong. I don't want a t-shirt that's going to cover up the thong. So I, I appreciate the, that they're doing this. But uh, maybe the style's not for everyone. Alright, and I think that is all I'm going to show. There is a lot here. If you want to see anything in detail, uh, do let me know if you want me to review or describe some other pieces that um, I went through pretty quickly. Let me know here on YouTube or in um, on OnlyFans or my other channels. Um, I'll be posting out some content of me wearing this stuff um, more so on uh, OnlyFans. Um, do check that out. Thank you for watching this long video. Clearly, I got a lot. I, I do recommend. The style, uh, it's not for everyone. There's some disadvantages to it, um, but it, it's just, you know, if you're into, into this, this topic, it's worth having, uh, you know, one or two to try it out. Maybe you'll like it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, check out my other links. Bye.